Bonjour tout le monde. I want to start by recognizing that today marks the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Atlantic. As we remember the sailors, soldiers and pilots who helped turn the tide of the Second World War, we honor all our veterans who stepped forward so we may live in peace. We think of the brave men and women who serve today, and we mourn the six heroes we lost just last week. To their loved ones, to those serving on HMCS Fredericton, and to all CAF members, I want to again, once again offer my deepest condolences to Canadians. Over the last four months, Canada has faced challenge and heartbreak on a scale we could never have expected. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, that's understandable. If you need support, that's okay. In April, we launched Wellness Together Canada, a website where you can find people to talk to if you're in crisis. And today, we're taking another step forward. Our government is investing over $240 million to bring healthcare online. We're expanding existing online tools, creating new virtual platforms for mental health and for primary care. Let me start with a new platform for mental health. Whether you're looking for strategies to manage stress or support from a, from a professional, this will be a resource for you. And if you're part of a marginalized community and you need specialized tools, well, there'll be specific help for you as well. If we can provide mental health support online, there's no reason we can't leverage technology in other areas of healthcare too. This $240 million investment will also include funding for virtual care for times when you don't need to see a doctor in person. Just take video conferencing. By helping doctors run appointments online, you can stay safe at home while getting care and our hospitals can stay focused on those who need it most. If we can use apps to order dinner and video chats to stay in touch with family, we can use new technology to keep each other healthy. Aujourd'hui, on annonce un investissement de 240 millions de dollars dans les soins de santé en ligne. Cet investissement permettra d'élargir l'accès aux services et d'offrir plus de ressources aux Canadiens. Ces fonds serviront notamment à créer une plateforme en ligne qui offrira une multitude de services en santé mentale. C'est de l'argent qui va aussi nous permettre d'offrir une plus grande gamme de soins virtuels pour ces moments où c'est pas nécessaire de voir un médecin en personne. En offrant des soins en ligne, on peut rejoindre plus de gens et réduire la pression sur notre système de santé. Et puisqu'on pratique tous la distanciation physique ces jours-ci, c'est justement le moment d'investir dans ces solutions. To beat COVID-19, we have to think outside the box. When Canadian researchers have a solid lead, we need to make sure they can follow it up. That's exactly what we've been doing over the last two months, and we're starting to see real results. Today, I can announce that we're investing over $175 million to support the Canadian company Abcelera for their very promising COVID-19 research. They've identified antibodies that could be used in drugs to treat this virus. This new funding will help them continue their vital work and will support human tries beginning as early as July. But until we have effective treatments, or better yet, a vaccine, we still need a reliable supply of everything from masks to ventilators. So later today, Minister Anand will announce the details of a new COVID-19 supply council. This council will be tasked with finding innovative solutions to ensure our country continues to have the vital supplies necessary to keep Canadians safe. On va investir plus de 175 millions de dollars pour appuyer les travaux de recherche très prometteurs de l'entreprise canadienne Abcelera. L'entreprise tente actuellement d'identifier des anticorps qui pourrait être utilisé dans la fabrication de médicaments pour traiter le virus. Nos investissements vont permettre à l'entreprise de poursuivre ses recherches et en même temps va appuyer des, des essais cliniques dès le mois de juillet. Plus tard aujourd'hui, la ministre Anand donnera plus de détails sur le nouveau Conseil pour l'approvisionnement lié à la COVID-19. Le Conseil aura pour mandat de trouver des solutions innovatrices pour faire en sorte qu'on dispose toujours du matériel dont on a besoin, comme des masques et du désinfectant pour les mains. 
I want to end today, as I do most Sundays, talking to families, to parents. I know this is a tough time right now to be raising kids. Right now, you should be able to, fo you should be able to focus on keeping your family safe, not about worrying about the bills. So this May, you'll get more help through the Canada Child Benefit. When you receive this month's payment, you'll see an extra $300 per child. For families with two kids, that means an extra $600. For three kids, an extra $900, and so on. This is money for whatever you need, whether it's online tutoring or groceries. And to all the kids out there, I know things are hard for you too. I know you miss your friends, and it's not always easy to do your schoolwork online. But this isn't going to last forever. So keep planning fun things to do with your friends once this is over. Keep up on your homework. And remember, we're going to get through this together. So thanks for all your help around the house, with your parents, and in sticking together through this difficult time. Si vous êtes un parent, on met plus d'argent dans vos poches ce mois-ci. Vous allez voir, quand votre paiement pour l'allocation canadienne pour enfants va rentrer dans quelques semaines, vous allez recevoir 300 dollars de plus par enfant. C'est un 600 dollars de plus pour deux enfants, 900 dollars de plus pour trois enfants, et ainsi de suite, pour subvenir à vos besoins, que ce soit pour le tutorat en ligne ou l'épicerie. C'est dur, ces jours-ci, pour les familles. Donc, on donne aux parents un coup de pouce pour leur faciliter la tâche. Mais je sais que c'est dur pour les enfants aussi. Vous vous ennuyez de vos amis. Vous avez le goût d'être dehors et d'aller au parc. Je sais que vous avez hâte que tout ça soit fini. Mais la bonne nouvelle, c'est qu'on a parcouru beaucoup de chemins au cours des dernières semaines, mais on doit continuer. Je sais que ça peut être tough, mais c'est vraiment important que vous contribuiez autour de la maison, que vous aidez vos parents, que vous restiez positif, parce qu'on va passer à travers. Si tout le monde continue de faire sa part, on va y arriver. Merci.